In this video, I am going to explain what is published to the web feature in Google Slides and provide a step-by-step -step demo how to use it. To begin, let us learn what is published to the web feature. From its name, it basically and literally publishes a Google Slides file to the web. When you publish, a lightweight web page is created which is intended to be viewed publicly. Here are the things to remember when you publish your Google Slides file to the web. First, once a file is published, it creates a distinct web page with a unique address link. The said link can be sent to many people to view the file and you can also insert it in elements of your other files. Second, publishing a file makes it visible to everyone on the web. This means even if the sharing setting is private, everyone with a link can still view its contents. Therefore, be careful when publishing as it may disclose private or sensitive information. Third, it does not require an account to access the content of the file. This makes it different from getting the shareable link of Google Slides file. In the shareable link, the file should be opened in the Google Slides application, unlike the published to the web, which can be viewed without the need of the application. Fourth, since it's a web page, it cannot be changed or edited by the one who has the link. To edit, you should share the shareable link and give editor access. Fifth, this is applicable and more convenient to use when sharing your output with a considerable number of people, like 100 people or more. Sixth, the Publish to the Web feature can be used to show flyers, posters, advertisements, press releases, and other documents to be made available for the public without allowing access to the source material. At this point, let's learn how to publish a Google Slides file to the web. Suppose this is the file that I would like my viewers to access and get information from. They are not expected to edit or make a comment here. They are also not required to open this in Google Slides application. Therefore, the best option for me is to use the Publish to the Web feature. Let's go to the File tab, then select the Publish to the Web option. On the pop-up window, we will see two tabs. The first is the Link tab. Here, we can set the slideshow to start as soon as it shows on the screen. We can even specify the interval of advancing from one slide to the next. We can also check this box if you want the slideshow to restart after reaching the last slide. If you are using a school or work account, we have this additional option, which is the ability to restrict the access to our domain. Do not check this box if you want anyone from the web to view your output. I will keep all the settings as is, and let's click the Publish button. As we can see, the link was generated. We can copy this and send it to the people we want to have access to the file. For example, this is the screen of another user. He would just simply copy the link and paste it in the address bar. Press the Enter key to see the web page that is made from Google Slides. Aside from the Link tab, we can also find here the Embed tab. Here, we can specify the slide size and interval for the auto-advanced slides and the same settings found in the Link tab. When published, we can see and copy the frame source here. This code can be embedded in various media platforms. We also have the ability to end the access of those people with the link by pressing the Stop Publishing button. I hope this video helped you in understanding the Publish to the Web feature of Google Slides. Please consider subscribing to my channel and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions. Thank you!